Hi, I'm Wesley. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you're probably aware that I like using suckless software, which is kind of a um, minimalistic, uh, utilitarian type of uh, software tools on the Linux operating system. So for the longest time, I've used DWM as my window manager. I've probably been doing that for you know three or four years now, maybe more. That's my primary window manager on my home machine. Well, I've seen a lot of hype recently around uh, the Hyperland compositor on Wayland, and I just thought it would be kind of neat to try uh, utilizing Wayland, um, but I'm not a big fan of Hyperland. I don't like, you know, wobbly and squishy windows. Uh, nothing wrong with that, and there's nothing wrong with anybody who uses that, um, but my preference is to use more of a stripped-down, minimalistic uh, window manager. So I found this one called DWL, and it's described as DWM for Wayland. So in this video, I'm going to walk through installing DWL. So I have a virtual machine here that I've created. <clears throat> I'm going to log in. This is Artix Linux, and I'm using the Run It version of Artix Linux, and it's the base uh, distribution. So there uh, are no desktop environments or uh, much of anything really installed on this operating system so far. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I have an IP address, and I don't. So I'm going to run dhcpcd to get an IP address. And then I'm going to run sudo pacman syu to uh, update my system. All right, so there's no updates. So dwl has two dependencies, and that those are wl roots and wayland protocols. I'll install both of those. And now I will download DWL. Uh, so I'll use git clone All right. So I'll CD into DWL and there's a make file so I can should be able to run make. Okay. So that created an executable called TWL for me. Now, if I try to run that, it's going to throw an error saying, could not activate session, permission denied. No backend was able to open a seat. So looking at the DWL documentation, um, it looks like they do support eLoginD, which is what Artix Linux is using by default. Um, however, I wasn't able to get that to work. Um, so I just decided to switch over to seatD. To, so to install that, I'm going to run sudo pacman s cd run it, because I'm using the run it system. And I'm going to say, yes, I do want to replace elognd. All right, so that should have installed it um, and started the service. So now I need to add myself to the seat group. It's sudo user mod seat wesley. Okay, so I've added myself to that group, so I'm going to need to quit and then log back in. So I should be in the seat group now. So I should be able to run DWL. All right, so that started the window manager. Now there's not really anything I can do right now because I don't have any other tools installed. If I open the config.h, I can see what um, utilities are used by default on DWL. And the terminal command that it uses is called foot. And the uh, menu command is be menu. So I'm going to install both of those. So it looks like foot is a part of the Arch uh, community repository. So I'm going to need to enable um, the Arch uh, repository. Update. All right, so now I'm going to install Artix Arch Linux support. 
All right, and then finally, I will add the community repository. So I'll synchronize my repositories again. All right, so it's up to date. Now, one other component I'll need to install before I can use foot or BE menu is a font. So I'm going to install TTF Deja Vu. All right, now that I've installed the font, I'll go ahead and install foot. Okay, and then I'll install BE menu. And it's gonna ask for uh, multiple versions of BE menu you're gonna to want to choose BE Menu Wayland. Okay, so I've installed BE Menu. Now let me try running DWL. Okay, so it's running, and if I hit Mod Shift Enter, or Alt Shift Enter on my keyboard, uh, it'll open the foot terminal emulator. Uh, additionally, if I press Alt P, it'll open BE Menu. Okay, so one other tool I'd like to install is uh, W Displays, which allows you to alter the uh, resolution um, and the number of displays on Wayland. But to do that, I'm going to add the uh, AUR uh, repository helper tool called Yay. So let me run the clone. All right, so I've installed yay. So I'm gonna run yay w displays. All right, now that that's finished, I should be able to open w displays. This is a pretty nice interface that allows you to easily um, change your resolution. I'm going to change to 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. Click apply. That looks a lot better. So there you have it. Uh, DWL has been installed um, and is, has basic functionality. You'll probably also want to set up a, a status bar, which I haven't done yet. Uh, if you want me to do that, uh, comment below. Be sure to let me know if there's anything that was inaccurate or incorrect about this uh, setup and installation. Obviously, because of the nature of these projects, um, the exact steps are subject to change in the future, but I just thought I'd try it out and show you all my uh, how I did it. Thanks for watching.